All right, hello everyone. I was going this is space here. Welcome back to another episode of Minigame Monday. Booyah, we're starting off fast. Got a screenshot. We got that for evidence, you know, just in case anyone was wondering, you know, an alibi, like just in case somebody like, you know, dies that's sort of connected to me and everything like that is murdered and, and I need an alibi. I've got Minecraft as my alibi, so there you go. Not like anything like that would ever happen. All right, all right, all right yeah. Anyways, so as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be playing Smash Heroes. Hopefully Smash Heroes is clear. Because, I mean, obviously the, the title is Smash Heroes. Space plays Smash Heroes. It's smashing time. No, it's actually Hunger Games time, baby. I just watched the newest Hunger Games movie, which is very fun. So I figured, hey, we may as well celebrate it. Because it's like it's been out for like 50 years. I just finally saw it. But, um, yeah, let's let's play some Hunger Games. There's not a lot of people in here. So um, hopefully we don't run into President Snow in here, man. I mean, that, that could be pretty, pretty severe, right? All right. President so perfect for Christmas time though, right? You know, it's President snowing outside right now. No, it's not actually. <laughs> yeah, I live in the south, and if it snows in there, it's raining heck from the sky, and the entire town shut down just because, like, oh, there's a 5% chance of snow. Oh, shoot, we better close down the whole thing now, boy. Can't handle 5% snow. Yeah, actually, seriously though, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty accurate though. You can't you can't freaking handle snow down here. They're like, as soon as like there's a threat of snow, they're like, oh god, guys, 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 there's just there's all white stuff on the ground. Close, close the city. Oh my god, it's going crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the New Hunger Games was pretty good. I liked it quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite movie of all time or my favorite movie of the year, but I will say it was quite quite the enjoyable experience. I had a very fun time. I look forward to seeing it again one day. Definitely gonna rewatch that. I actually even want to rewatch all of the movies, so I might do that soon. <clears throat> I've been watching random trilogies for fun. I <laughs> I, re I haven't seen I haven't seen the Star Wars sequel series in a while or sequel trilogy in a while, so I rewatched that <clears throat> as good as I remember. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody's everybody's favorites favorite movies, of course. Um, I don't think I chose. I, I do this on instinct, so I don't actually really like. F uh, I do like a lot of stuff on instinct, so. <laughs> Whenever I, like, actually, like, consciously think about things, like, whoa, wait! <laughs> Whenever I, like, I drive to school, like, so often, like, every time that I, like, I do it subconsciously, basically, and sometimes I'm like, wait, where am I? Like, what? <laughs> sometimes when I, when I just, like, like, come out of, like, the, my consciousness rises up from the subconscious jam, and, uh, why was there only two stuff in there, by the way? Is that, I guess that's usual, never mind, okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so I, aw, uh, yeah, baby... Got a common gift. Let's go. All right. Um, <clears throat> give me this. This whoop on whoop on the third helmet right here. Uh, anyways, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. So I, I rewatched. I watched the uh, Star Wars see of the sequel trilogy. So I hadn't seen the Rise of Skywalker in, in a long time. So I wasn't really missing much to be honest. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, it it's uh it's a movie. It's a movie. I'm going in here. I'm I'm uh. uh I get pranked. Oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> I thought I got them stuck in there for a second. Never mind. Okay. Um, Scout Ten, what is wrong with you? Why do you have Scout Ten? That's too much. <laughs> why? Why? Why Scout of all things? It's. I don't, do I even have Scout? What is this? Well, yeah. Why do you need that? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. That sounds like a pretty okay uh, kit. I should wear my my Christmas skin. I keep on forgetting. Uh. Anyways, yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm I'm rewatching the. Uh, of course, yes, naturally. Uh. L J K F D. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm rewatching the uh, the home trilogy. It's interesting because like rewatching like MCU trilogies is kind of weird and peculiar because there it's like a connected universe. So like things are sequel to other things are sequels to other things. It's not like watching the Raimi trilogy where it's like all a sequel to itself. But like you know, Homecoming is a sequel to Civil War. Uh, Far From Home is a sequel to Endgame. <laughs> uh, Far From Home is just a sequel to. Homecom or at the far from home, so I, I've watched I've watched two of the three, so I still have to watch. Here, have that on the house. Um, I still have to watch. Uh, still have to watch No Way Home because there's right now there's absolutely no way home. All right, here we go. <laughs> I wonder what the fourth one will be called. I'm kind of interested. Spider-Man Homeless, of course, is a is a good one. No, <laughs> um, I don't know. <clears throat> I wonder if they'll like make a new like name instead of just like going off of like the home stuff. Or, like the new trilogy will have like a new set of names. Is there any like is there any like other trilogy you guys can think of that like has like that sort of like naming scheme? I'm not talking about like Star Wars, like oh it's called Star Wars Rise. Of course, obviously all the Star Wars movies have Star Wars in them, and like Lord of the Rings, obviously. But like, is there any other trilogy that has like excluding like the Spider-Man part, like the home parts, like that sort of naming scheme? Is there anything else like that that has like the same like like oh 
Um, <laughs> this is this is a uh, Star Wars dishwasher, and this is the dishes return or something like that, you know, or something, <laughs> you know, something like that. Of course, obviously, Star Wars dishwashers. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies. It's pretty good. Uh, it is better than Rise of Skywalker. Let's tell you that right now. Um, even though uh, it's it's a wash. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> this map I've played this map a million times, but I don't actually remember where anything is. Okay. But yeah, Hunger Games. I'm definitely going to be watching, rewatching those. I haven't seen those in a while. I've seen I've seen like bits and pieces of them, like all of them, here and there. But I don't think I've actually sat down and watched them all the way through in a while. So I saw them in the theater too. It was really fun. I read the books first, uh, and then I saw them. I didn't read this book, yo. I didn't have time, but I I think I'd probably read the, this book. I wouldn't mind me reading all of them as well, you know, because there's definitely some things that they skipped out on. It's like I saw this theory recently about like one of the characters from this movie, this newest movie, being like in the Hunger Games book, in the first book. It's like a character that wasn't really in the movie, so I don't know. Could be, could be. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, it was it was fun. I wouldn't say it's like the strongest. I'd say it's probably like my third favorite. Obviously, the second one is the best. Don't need to tell you that. Uh, and the first one is really good too. But this one, I'd say, is pretty close to the first one. I feel like the first one has the edge over it because, like, no spoilers, the actual, like, Hunger Games, Hunger Games section of it is is good, but it's definitely one of the weaker parts of the movie, I, I'd say. I still like it a lot, though. Definitely very tense and everything, but it's not as strong. Would you back up, please? Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> back up. Please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the old uh, Hanzo maneuver right there from uh, Overwatch. I've not played Overwatch in like a million years. It's on Steam right now. If you want to play, <laughs> if Overwatch Two is on Steam, can I make this jump? Uh, yes. <laughs> Dies in sleep. Look at that leaf that we've had. How many times do you think people have died on that? Probably like a million times. All right. Uh, yeah. This week, by the way, Hunger Game. Or no, <laughs> of course, obviously Hunger Games today. Uh, but um. First or Wednesday, more Assassin's Creed, baby. I'd love to do an Assassin's Creed weekend. I'm not sure when, but um, eventually I'd like to do that. I think we can like probably like get pretty close to defeating it. I think we have like four hours left or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Here's the thing: which one will we defeat first, Spider-Man or Assassin's Creed Three? <laughs> That's the real trick. I think it's probably gonna be Assassin's Creed Three, to be honest with you. <laughs> I will defeat Spider-Man too. I promise. I promise. But um, I should I should play. I should uh. Uh, I don't know. I like playing games for the first time on stream. It's fun, but I don't know. Sometimes it can go poorly. Sometimes it can go well. I'd love to play Alan Wake 2 because that... I, I love Alan Wake 1. I've played Alan Wake 1 before. It's great. Uh, American Nightmare is okay. It's like the standalone DLC. It's it's fine. It has its moments, but it's kind of... It's purposefully repetitive, which is interesting story-wise, but actual gameplay-wise, I'm like, eh. Eh. But the first one, though, is great. I've heard the second one is amazing. Got some game awards, which is awesome. That performance was sick as heck, dude. You guys see that performance? Amazing. Probably one of my favorite parts of the game awards. I see a lot of people complaining about the game awards, saying that it's like, you know, a lot of ads and stuff like that. It's not really like, that. not that many awards. It's like maybe like 10% awards, like uh, 70, 90% uh, <laughs> math, uh, 90% um, like ads and stuff like that for games. And yeah, I, that's fair. But I mean, we don't have V3 anymore, so I mean, I it's I wasn't I wasn't too bothered by it honestly. Like, yeah, I feel like they should have focused on the awards a little more, but it was it was fun. I mean, it's not like any of the games that were announced really were super interesting to me, to be honest. But I thought it was cool seeing it. Nevertheless, there were some pretty interesting games there, but nothing. I don't know. Um, it was cool. There's like a lot of Final Fantasy stuff and like farming, and there's like a million sci-fi games. So, <laughs> I mean, that's cool. But yeah. I don't know. Well, that's a cool skin. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna steal that. Actually, copy, paste, boom. No, okay. <laughs> can you imagine if you could do that? Like, like there's like, there's gotta be like a mod or something. There's like the morph mod or whatever. I guess that's the closest thing we have to like shape shifting into like different people's skins. <clears throat> that sounds kind of weird. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, I'm actually recording this before I did that stream. So if you saw that stream that I did, then uh, hello <laughs> from the past, I guess. Uh, that was PewDiePie, or is that is that Mr. Beast? I think that, no, it's Mr. Beast. That's, <laughs> his skin kind of looks like PewDiePie, though, right? Mr. Beast, come back! Oh, we're playing Minecraft with Mr. Beast. I've really enjoyed playing with you. Oh, thank you, Ty Tawida. Ty Tywida. Heard you like Minecraft? Let's see. So I built 
Minecraft, where did I go? So, so I built a computer so you can play Minecraft while I'm, alright. <laughs> what is this, 2012? Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I recently started replaying Borderlands 2 with my cousin. Mmm, fantastic. I'd love to do, like, uh, one day, maybe I'll, like, I'll get them or something to, like, record, like, Borderlands with me or something. I think that'd be cool, like, three or four player Borderlands. Play Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, Borderlands the pre-sequel, I've never defeated that before. And Borderlands 3, which I also have not defeated because my computer hates me and it does not like running Borderlands 3. <laughs> Even though I did run Borderlands 3 on this computer a while ago, but it's, right now it's like in a... Uh, Alright, cool. <laughs> we sure are getting killed a while. We, used, we did get one kill. <laughs> um, yeah, my computer doesn't like running Borderlands 3. I tried a few days ago and uh, no no bueno. <laughs> but uh, it runs Borderlands 2 perfectly, so that's good at least. That is, that is theoretically the better game, even though I've only played like 8 hours of the third one. The third one's good, but the second one is immaculate. The first one is great too. I think I like the second one a little more, but the first one is really great too, so. And the pre-sequel, I've not defeated. <laughs> we've, we've, uh, I've got like, I didn't even realize, I've got like 50-something hours on Borderlands 2, which is insane to me. I don't know how many hours, I probably have like a fair bit of hours on Borderlands 1 as well. I've played it a few times, my cousins love it. My cousin was actually the one that introduced me to it. He's like, hey, this is on sale. And he's like, well, you guys want to play it? And like, yeah. We played, we stayed up until like midnight, like, I think I'm like, uh, uh, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was uh, uh, New Year's, I think. Maybe it was both New Year's and Christmas, I don't know. We, we were going hard with that stuff, man. It was great. It was such a fun time. Probably one of my favorite memories. Um, yeah, such a great game. Borderlands is amazing. Can't recommend it enough. It's very fun. Got that Mad Max vibe to it. Got some cool, fun levels, quirky characters. I've not played the uh, the Tiny Tina or whatever. I've heard that's pretty good, too. So I might have to check that out one day. Um, I've not played Tales from Borderlands either. For that's good. That's a Telltale game, so it's different, of course, but still cool. Uh, <laughs> for I was about to say it has Miles Tower in it, but I don't think it does. I think I just think the character looks like Miles Tower. <laughs> my brain, my brain sort of was like, wait, what? <laughs> is Miles Tower in the Borderlands game? Uh, there's a Borderlands movie by Eli Roth coming out. I think it's supposed to come out next year. I'm not sure if that's 100% guaranteed, but I hope that's good. I mean. Eli Roth is pretty good. I haven't really seen too many of his movies, because a lot of his movies are, like, gross-out horror movies, pretty much. So, uh, Thanksgiving looked pretty cool, though. That seems like a, a cool one. Uh, so I might have to check that out one day. But, um, I was tempted to see it. It looked pretty okay. Pretty good. I've heard that the ending is, isn't is very good, but, um, at least from, like, a few different people. So I'm not sure, like, if that's the general consensus or if it's just, like, them. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it seems pretty cool. It's like a, you know, Halloween, but, like, Thanksgiving, obviously. Uh, it's actually based on, like, a, I think it was for Grindhouse. Like, Eli Roth made, like, a fake, like, uh, Thanksgiving slasher trailer. And he decided to make it a full movie, so it's cool. So, it actually, the trailer came to life. <laughs> Very cool. Um, the trailer, the trailer obviously doesn't show, like, a lot of stuff like this. This guy again? Come on, man. <laughs> we did this dance a while ago, man. You are very bad at shooting, aren't you? <laughs> Don't steal my kill, bro. Sir Cow. I've got infinite arrows, baby. No, don't expect. Oh, yeah, that's so disorienting. Okay. I wonder how low that guy was. He was probably pretty close to death. How many times I gotta kill this man, man? <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So, see, so yeah, I'm still thinking about next year what all we're gonna play. Obviously, more Minecraft. Obviously, obviously, obviously. I hope to. One of my goals next year is to do a little more space of survival. We'll have to see how much time I have, but I'd love to do. Um. At least an episode every other month, if not every month. I think every month will be great, but it just depends. And I don't want to, like, burn myself out. That's only 12 episodes a year, though, really. So, I mean, which isn't isn't a lot, obviously. But I feel like at this point, we're never going to, like, get to a point where we have, like, pretty consistent, like, space of survival as far as, like, maybe two a month or something like that. So, at least for now. Maybe one day I'll get more inspired and we'll have, like, more space of survival. But, um, who knows? For, who knows for sure? Uh, but it does take a while to make those um, few hours to record and, you know, editing and stuff like that, which isn't that much time, but, you know, it, <laughs> it adds up sometimes. Um, but I really enjoy it. It's very fun. So I wish, I would love to, I would love to do another Space Survival, like, very soon. So hopefully in January. I might start recording, like, I don't know when. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll even try this week. Who's who knows? I realized I didn't choose my kit. Yeah, my kit great. Why is this not okay? You see, I uh, speaking of like I mentioned. Oh, that's gross. Okay, speak. I mentioned. All right, <laughs> I, that was weird. Um, I mentioned like doing things on instinct. So like my my pause and my my start recording and, and play recording are, are like, I know what they are, but sometimes I'm like, did I? <laughs> I I press them automatically, but sometimes I'm like, did I press the right key? And I do, but that's my biggest worry with Assassin's Creed because Assassin's Creed is a full screen game. I played this in Windowed. And if I don't press record, then obviously I won't record. So, and I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really want to replay the <laughs> Assassin's Creed Free is good. Don't get me wrong, I like it a lot, but <laughs> yeah, um, I yeah. So I think next year we'll probably record Assassin's Creed Four. That will probably take a while. That one's a pretty long one. I think it's like probably fifteen hours if I had to guess. So I mean, this one's like about fifteen hours, though, right? So. I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like how long it took me to defeat it, but um, it's been a long time, it's been, see I've played Assassin's Creed 3 fairly often, I think I've played it like, I think this might be my third time defeating it, or fourth time defeating it, might be fourth actually, I'm not sure, I defeated it once on the, um, yeah I defeated it once on uh, my Xbox, that's actually the game my Xbox came from, my 360, it came with uh, Assassin's Creed 3, and um, Hello, I don't actually need these, but I'll take them. <laughs> um, oh, it's a trap. That's a lame trap, man. It's just a sword. <laughs> I don't have a bow, so I can't really like effectively use the water strap, but that's okay. Was this a poorly maintained wooden sword? All right. Yeah, but I've only played Assassin's Creed 4 once, so compared to like three times now I've played Assassin's Creed 2. I played it once on the game and the Xbox on the GameCube, yes. I played it um, a second time on the PC. In preparation for Origin, and then I played through all the games on, um, except for like, um, I don't think I played Syndicate. I do remember replaying uh, Unity though. I didn't replay Four because I had some problems. I don't think my computer could have ran it at the time for some reason. Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah, my computer couldn't run it, and then guess what? <laughs> you know what the only back non backwards compatible game is on the Xbox One for Assassin's Creed? You guessed it, it's Assassin's Creed 4, because they did a, a, a special um, modern console, that that generation console uh, release for Assassin's Creed 4, because why not? <laughs> so that was literally the only one that was not backwards compatible. The only one I couldn't play, so that was great. And my I tried to play it on my 360, but my 360 was messed up, so it wasn't really working very well. So I got like an hour into it, and then it, like, it, it lost everything, so I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll move on to Assassin's Creed Rogue, because my computer can handle that for some reason. Assassin's Creed Rogue isn't that big of a game, I guess. It it's like uh it's like Black Flag White, I guess, really. Not to dis not to uh say it's bad, I love Assassin's Creed Rogue. I think Assassin's Creed Rogue is under how did you hit me from all the way over there? There's no way. There's absolutely no chance you're hit making those shots. Get away from me, you filthy animal. <laughs> Take a bath, you hippie. Um yeah, yeah, but Assassin's Creed Rogue is good. I like it. We'll we'll play it. Uh, we'll play it after uh, uh, Black Flag. Yeah, I'd love to play all of the games. No, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The later ones might be difficult. It would be kind of fun to stream Unity and or not Unity, um, Origin and Odyssey. Origin and Odyssey take forever, man. They're massive games. Uh, I've never played Valhalla. I probably honestly will never play Valhalla. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to. It's just too much of a time commitment. The game is way too big, man. It's like a freaking like. 200 hour game it's crazy so that's cool if you're into that sort of thing but i like i i like defeating games and stuff like that that's defeating stuff is sort of motivating to me for some reason i'm like oh i can finish this or whatever it's kind of fun it's like if you've, you've you played it and you're done um and you can go back to it or whatever but yeah i'm looking forward to unity too i feel like unity has like has become a little more loved uh, in recent years i feel like people aren't as hard on it because like it had a terrible release it was like it used to be like the game with the biggest like patch update ever, so <laughs> that's not a good thing to have, right? Like, oh guys, congratulations, you screwed up that bad. <laughs> so I didn't really have any problems with it. There's like one glitch that I found that didn't break the game, but people were having like a hard time with it, man. It was rough as heck. Um, I think it's actually possible that I played it much later. I think I played it like like probably like months after its release, so that's probably why, but I'm not sure. 
I'm pretty sure I didn't play it right away. I think I may have gotten it for Christmas or something. I don't know. It came out like around like October or November, I think, because I think that's around the time Assassin's Creed games used to come. I remember like I remember um, uh, Black Flag came out. That was my first game pre-order. Um, Black Flag. I'm pretty sure that came out in October. I remember that pretty well. We um, I got I got it from Target, and we got sandwiches from this place by Target. Um, and milkshakes too, yes. They have like these these uh, fall milkshakes. They had, they had like a pumpkin milkshake or something. Fantastic. I'm not like a huge pumpkin spice person. I think pumpkin spice is good, but I don't need it in everything. But um, I, I don't I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you all next time. It's been fun. Uh, we lost everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>